Quick disclaimer before we start this video that these products were provided to me for free, but my reviews are my own opinions and I was not paid to give anything a good review or highlight anything that isn't actually how I feel. Now let's get into the video. So I was sent two new products from Rockette and Turtle Beach, one of them being one of their headsets right here. And the mouse will be doing at the end just as a kind of like a bonus thing. And then the main course will actually be the headset, this headset versus the 3D Pulse headset just to see how they fare. And of course, I'm hoping that by the end of this video that you will have those answers. With sound, it's definitely an opinion thing, but I'm going to be putting up microphone samples on both straight from the PS5 hardware, and you guys can decide for yourselves which one sounds better to you. They'll be recorded in the exact same environment, so you know that there's no advantage uh, to either piece of hardware. Now let's get started with the headset that they have sent me. Now, before I jump into comparing the microphones, and I will have timestamps for those of you who just wanna jump straight to that, uh, I wanna tell you a little bit about this headset, the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max. Now this works across pretty much much any piece of hardware. So computers, uh, so PC, laptops, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. It's gonna work with pretty much everything. It does run through Bluetooth and with Xbox, it works a little more natively with the uh, operating system, but uh, this does definitely work with the PS5. So compatibility is quite broad. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this really going to work that well with my hardware? The answer is yes. Yes, it is going to work well with your hardware. So with this, you're going to get 40 plus hours of battery life per charge, which it actually does last a very long time. I have yet to have to charge this since I've been using it. It has Bluetooth connectivity. So this headset does have dynamic surround sound it is optimized to deliver immersive spatial audio with windows sonic dolby atmos and it does have 3d audio for playstation 5 users it is leg free wireless they have a proprietary low latency 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection and optimizes gaming audio and chat in real time for a leg free gameplay advantage now i want to talk about build quality of course build quality does matter when you're talking about a headset especially one that retails at 199 usd this is not a cheap headset, right? This is something that uh, you're hoping is gonna last you a long time and it's gonna meet all your needs. When it comes to build quality, I'll tell you right now, this, this headset right here is a very, you can tell it's a premium product. You can tell that it's got that heft to it, but not too much heft. You can also tell that it's a durable product. This is something that's not gonna snap, you know, with a little bit of force. It's a very well-made product. I would say this, is probably one of the better made headsets that I've owned. I've owned quite a few headsets and this is probably pretty far up there. Um, we have other features with this as well as mute and unmute. And these things are done specifically with just pulling this microphone down, which unmutes it, pulling it up or pushing it up is going to mute it. So that's another nifty thing that's just like, quick, right? You don't have to look for a button on the headset, which is really nice as well. But with the PS5, of course, keep that in mind that if you just hit the mute button on the controller, it'll mute the microphone as well. So if you didn't want to have to flip it up, you could just hit the mute button on the controller. So in the case of the PS5, very handy. Obviously, if you're on a Nintendo Switch, the PC, these other things, you would have to flip up the microphone. We also have a bunch of buttons on the side, right? So volume buttons and a Bluetooth button, a power button, and a mode button. Now this mode button is what makes this headset stick out a little more than say other headsets. And that mode button, what it does is amplifies footsteps, amplifies reloading sounds. So if you're a competitive player, this headset is the one that you probably wanna run with because it's gonna give you that advantage. Or if you're so good you don't need it, then maybe you don't need it. But I think that that advantage is quite great, especially if you're playing competitively. Uh, so that is one really nice perk and feature to this headset as well. So we've talked about build quality, how to mute, unmute, volume, all that stuff. Let's talk about comfort because comfort is very important, especially if you wear glasses like myself. And I'll tell you right now that the comfort that this headset brings is probably unmatched so far for me. Mind you, I haven't used every headset ever created, so I can't say it's the best headset in the world, but I will tell you it's more comfortable than any other headset I've used. I wear glasses. I wear glasses when I game all the time. You'll never see me playing a video game without glasses because I can't see properly at least. So it's very important to me to have a comfortable headset for when I game, especially considering I wear glasses. And I'll tell you, this is probably by far, by far, and it's not even close, the most comfortable headset I've ever used for gaming with glasses. It's just, it's, it's unmatched. I love the Pulse headset, don't get me wrong. And it is a comfortable headset. But let me tell you something. This, while comfortable, is not as comfortable as this. This is a lot more comfortable with glasses than this. Even for extended periods of time, 
This is more comfortable than this, even if we're not talking about the points where, where the glasses hurt. This is a lot better, in my opinion, in terms of comfort. Now, in terms of microphone and all that other stuff, we're gonna get to that, but this is the most comfortable headset I've ever used. When it comes to the sound, obviously both are gonna uh, provide you that 3D audio. Um, these ones will have a definitely a bigger speaker on them. As you can see, the, the headphone size is just, it's, it's much bigger, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% going to be the superior uh, headset, especially we haven't done the microphone test, which is uh, gonna be a big thing for a lot of people, right? So we're talking sound, they're both very good. When we're talking about sound with this headset, because we're reviewing this, and I would say it's, it's very good, no issues at all, very clear, uh, very enjoyable. Even at high volumes, you're not getting any distortion, you're not getting any sounds that just make you kind of wince or anything like that. This is definitely a high quality headset. Speakers are amazing on them. And that's where I kind of want to leave that at because it's, it's definitely an opinion-based thing. I'm not going to be able to show you what makes this headset great in terms of sound because it just, it wouldn't translate well in a video. Obviously you need to wear it for yourself to know. So now I want to talk to you guys about the design, right? Because the design is, it matters, right? Some people don't want to wear a headset that looks goofy. And I don't want to say that this headset looks goofy. It doesn't, it's very nice. It's very, like it's a very clean design and it's comfortable and it doesn't look bad. Is it the nicest looking headset I've ever used? I wouldn't say so. Like I would say that Astros are, better looking in design, I would say. I would say the 3D Pulse headset looks better in design. It's also lighter weight, but in terms of like, I mean, this is, this is really an opinion at the end of the day. The design is not going to be like a, you're not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go with the 3D Pulse headset because it looks better, but I like the qualities of this one more. No, because you're sitting in, in your chair, your couch, wherever it is and you're gaming. But overall, I mean, when it comes to design, it's really an opinion as well. So. And when it comes to design, I would say the Pulse headset, but that shouldn't be the deciding factor for anyone, I don't think. I mean, I think you would go with the, the qualities of the headset, but so we'll say design goes to the Pulse headset, but functionality, I'm saying this right now, but let's do the mic test next because that's a big one and we're gonna run it through the PS5 and that's how we're gonna find out what the biggest differentiating factor is, like what makes one better than the other. So here we go with the mic test right we're going to test the quality of both headsets and compare them side by side because, because of course you know when you have a microphone as expensive as the turtle beach headset and the 3d pulse headset you definitely want to get something that has quality on both sides of things the sound and the microphone and so here we are testing out the turtle beach stealth 700 g2 max audio quality when it comes to the microphone straight through the ps5 so now we are testing the 3d pulse headset from playstation on the PS5 natively. And I will tell you that I have not heard either, so I don't know what to make of both of them in terms of sound quality, but I'm giving you a sample here of audio so you can determine for yourself. Please let me know in the comments what you think sounds better in terms of mic quality. Obviously this will be a surprise for me as well because I have not taken a look at this just yet. All right, so we've done the mic tests and I want you guys to let me know what you think about the quality difference here. Now keep in mind, that these are done in the same environment no differences at all they are going to be on even playing field in terms of the audio quality also keep in mind that the price difference is there as well i believe it's 99 usd for the 3d pulse headset and it's 199 usd for the turtle beach headset so it's twice the value of that so keep that in mind as well listening to a back from my ears and you know i'm i'm into the microphone scene because I have quite a lot of my own in terms of like pro mics for, for my content and then obviously headsets as well. I feel like there's a, there's a massive difference between the two of them. This headset sounds a lot better than this headset in terms of mic quality. And I think it's, it's irrefutable. I'm curious what you guys make of it. I, I think it's irrefutable. I think this is by far leaps and bounds in terms of mic quality ahead of the other one. Again, we gotta keep in mind value of the mic, right? So or value of the headset, it's twice the price. So therefore, you'd assume that it's going to be a better headset overall. But again, sometimes that's not the case. So overall, what do I think of the 700 G2 Max as a headset as a whole, right? Works across all platforms, right? So you don't have to worry about, uh, does this just work with PlayStation? Does it just work with Xbox? Whatever it may be. 
uh, you don't have to worry about that. It works across everything, has amazing audio quality, has 3D audio, has that Dolby Atmos, has all these different things in terms of features, as well as mute, unmute, by just flipping the mic, and then obviously the 40 hour battery life, which is a huge thing. I'll say right now, I have to charge my 3D Pulse headset. I don't know how much in terms of hours, how long it lasts, but I'll tell you right now, it doesn't last 40 hours. That, that I know for sure. So that's something that to keep in mind as well. Um, overall like the quality is there obviously you have to be willing to drop that money in, in order to get something like this versus the pulse headset in my opinion is it worth 199 it depends how much you value uh, a good headset i feel like if you want that quality of sound that microphone if you stream from your ps5 that microphone is really good gonna be hard to beat that in terms of a headset micro like a gaming headset a uh, microphone and if you like the 40 hour battery life is just insane. Like, you know, I've, I haven't had to charge this thing yet. And I platinum horizon and I've been playing FF seven remake to platinum that as well. So I've spent a lot of time gaming and I've been using this solely to get an idea of how it works. And so far in terms of quality and overall performance, I'm very impressed with it. And if I were to give it a score again, I think, I, I think considering price and everything, I'd give it like a 9.1. Next up, I quickly want to review the Rocket Burst Pro Air wireless mouse. We're going to talk about this and uh, the perks of it and what I think of it overall uh, for the price tag and everything and performance. Uh, it works wired and wireless and through Bluetooth as well. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz wireless um, dongle that you connect and you can run it through there or you can run it through Bluetooth as well. You're able to do both. Now this thing does give you over a hundred hours battery life, which is just insanity. Um, yeah, you're not gonna have to charge this thing often. And then when you wanna charge it, you can actually plug it in right from the top and uh, plug that in and play at the same time. And so that's something that you can definitely uh, count on in case you do run out of battery life. And a lot of times when that happens, it's unexpected, right? You don't just throw it on the charger every time you're done, uh, as you probably shouldn't for, for battery purposes anyway, but it does last a very long time. It's super lightweight as well. If you are looking for something that is a very lightweight mouse, this is the way to go. Um, it's reasonably priced to 99 USD. So you got a bunch of buttons on the mouse as well. You got the side buttons, top two buttons, the scroller, whatever that's called, and you can click that in as well. It does have 19,000 up to 19,000 DPI as well. So if you really want something with, like you can just move fast across the screen, this will do that as well. It's a very high quality mouse for the price tag. I would say for 99 USD, you're looking at a very reasonable uh, product as well as the fact that battery life how good it is in terms of being wireless. I've used a lot of wireless products in the past, uh, even from companies like Razer, where they have constant disconnections. And I've looked through like massive amounts of uh, Reddit forums and all sorts of stuff like that, where there is no answer to it. So in this case, I have not experienced it with this, which is super refreshing because that's the only reason why I never went wireless in the beginning, but overall very solid product. I think that most people would be happy with this. It does depend though. It does depend if you like a light mouse, this is the way to go. If you want someone with a little more heft like myself, then maybe another one. Overall, great product, lots of RGB in there, which is so important. When you, when you buy a product for your PC or whatever it may be, RGB is always appreciated. So this one does have a lot. I think it's something like 16.8 million colors, guys. 16.8 million colors on this, which is pretty incredible. Really cool design. I love it. It's great. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'd love to hear your opinions. What did you think of the comparison between the Turtle Beach 700 G2 Max? And what did you think of the 3D Pulse headset, how it held up against it um, with the mic quality and other aspects of it? Of course, as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.